Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning in to this program today. I'm talking about Genesis chapter 8 today in this session. After it had rained for 40 days and nights, the rain stopped, and the land began to dry. In Genesis 8 and 1, and God earnestly remembered Noah and every living thing that was in that ark, and God made the wind blow over the land, and all the waters sank and began to be abated, according to the Amplified Bible. This must have been quite an adventure for Noah, floating on the surface of the water in an ark, with all those animals on board, and I just wonder sometimes how it must have smelled on there in that place, and living with all those animals and with his family there, it was quite an experience, I'm sure, but God was with him, and every time God is with us, you know, we're always going to be able to make it. He makes a way where there seemeth to be no way. In Genesis 8, 3, and the waters receded from the land continually, at the end of the 150 days, the waters had diminished and subsided. The ark came to rest on the 17th day of the seventh month on the mountain of Arat, that's in Armenia. And the 17th day in the seventh month is loaded with sevens. I'm sure this has some significance because seven is God's number. We read about 40 days and 40 nights and seven days and the 17th day of the month in this chapter. It's very interesting. In Genesis 8 and 5, and the waters uh, receded, continued to diminish until the 10th month. On the first day of the 10th month, the tops of the high hills were seen. After another 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he had spent which uh, a lot of commentators say up to 100 years building that ark. That must have been quite a task. This wasn't a small boat. This was a large boat that floated well. And he sent forth a raven, which kept going to and from, from the waters, were dried up on the land. And Noah sent forth a dove to see if the waters had decreased from the surface of the ground. But the dove found no resting place, so Noah waited another seven days, there's that seven again, and sent him out again. And the dove this time came back with an olive leaf, so Noah knew that the waters had subsided on the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent the dove out again, and the dove did not return. Notice again that word seven. He waited again seven days, and then he sent him out. You know, God built this earth on six days and rested on the seventh. The name of the Antichrist is 666, and God's number is always seven. Always remember that God's number is seven. When Noah was 601 years old, how would it like, be like to be 601 years old? Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked on the ground that it was drying. And God spoke to Noah and told him to go out of the ark with all of his families and with all of his animals. And uh, in Genesis 8, 20, Noah built an ark unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings to the Lord. It pleased the Lord, and he said he would never curse the ground again. Very interesting there that he built an altar and sacrificed all the unclean animals uh, and offered them to the unto Lord to a sacrifice. Uh, Thank God there is a sacrifice. Jesus Christ became the greatest ultimate sacrifice ever. And we love him today because he died for us and he gave his life for us on Calvary. And then I read in the faith chapter of Hebrews 11 and verse number 7, prompted by faith, Noah built an ark, forewarned by the Lord of events that were about to transpire, took heed and, and reverently and earnestly prepared an ark, for the deliverance of his own family. It goes on to say a few more things in that particular and a verse of Scripture. But he was obedient unto God, and he obeyed God in what God told him to do. Noah had been telling people for many years that it's going to rain. You need to prepare to get into the ark. And I want to tell you, friends, today, the, the sounds of that rain is thundering up on us today. God will never curse this earth with rain again. But we need to get in that ark today, and we need to be saved if we're going to make heaven because the time is at hand. And so are you in the ark today, and is your family ready to go in that ark? Uh, 
be sure you're ready to meet Jesus Christ because he's coming back to this world someday. And thank you so much for listening to the program today.